In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build your first Go High Level funnel in 15 minutes or less. So without further ado, let's jump right into the timer right here and let's start the timer and you'll always be able to see it right up here and we'll jump right into your high level account and you can follow step by step. So under sites and funnels right here, we'll click on creating a new funnel and you can start from blank, but that'll take a lot longer, be a lot harder and will look very a lot worse. So we'll start with a template and we'll hit continue right here. So all my funnels, no matter what kind of how big, how small the funnel, I always choose one of uh, these funnel templates. And you do want to spend 10, 15 minutes, like a solid amount of time on choosing the right funnel template for you and your business. Because what you want to do once you have this funnel template is you just want to duplicate it. You want to duplicate it again and again and again. So whether you need a calendar funnel right now, a form funnel later on, a server formal la la later, later on, or a website in two years, you always want to start, you want to reuse this funnel template so that you, you reuse the branding the color, the typography, the texting, like all, all it all has to you look the same, okay? Because the main thing about branding is not, is it a purple, is it a brown, is it a red? It's mainly about being consistent. Businesses wanna see that you can be consistent and uh, because then they apply that consistency to your branding to you and they know, hey, this is a reliable partner that I can work with. So uh, choose a funnel template and stick to it for all your funnels. And how I would go about that is you can just scroll through here and kind of see all the different funnel templates that high level has. But if you want to niche it down for beauty and fashion, for example, because you're in that industry or you're like you're curious what that would look like, then you would just apply that filter over here on the left and you would see all the beauty and fashion uh, templates. And you can see there's some good, uh, some solid templates right here. A lot of them are a little bit more female oriented, a lot of yeah, female images here, a lot of uh, rather female uh, colors and uh, but yeah so choose different niches if you're in business and coaching consulting scroll through here and see if you like any and uh, yeah just check out these different categories that you have over here on the left we're gonna go to home service real fast but I wanted to share with you you don't like just because it's a home service HVAC website or funnel doesn't mean that you have to use it only if you're in HVAC or you know home contracting business you can take a funnel template like let's say this one right here and this could be a, a software template it kind of looks modern with the purple uh, the reddish design so don't feel stuck in one niche just because the template is organized in that niche you could easily take this and put software images over it or put um, hairdresser images over it and it could be a hairdresser website um, but yeah spend a solid amount of time on choosing your funnel and templates and then just stick to it don't change the branding, don't change you know, the colors too much. Um, so I would choose it based on, again, what kind of colors are the background already so you don't have to replace that. I would see, hey, do I kind of like this typography? Does it kind of suit my brand? Do I kind of like the layout of this? Do I like, hey, that this column is here on the left, this is over here on the right? Do I like these four columns right here? Um, so just try to find a template that fits your use case as good as possible. Once you have that, hit continue and don't don't overthink that process okay we gotta we gotta make decisions some people spend months <laughs> weeks months literal months building their website building their funnels and i'm going to show you again how to do it within a couple of minutes right here as fast as possible so once you've chosen that website it'll basically be loaded in your account just as you saw it within the template section and you can see we've got this funnel right here right now and uh, it's pretty much ready to be edited. We'll go ahead, because it went ahead and opened the funnel builder immediately. So we'll go back and we'll just rename this real fast so that you know how to rename it. Under settings up here, you can rename it and be like, hey, my uh, funnel. And we'll go ahead and hit save here. And there's a couple of different sections, you know. Um, and we'll go ahead and just connect it right away. While we're here, under steps and settings, we can connect it to a specific domain. So this is one of my dummy domains, gosmarterflows.com, um, and I'll show you how to connect or add a new domain in just a second. But if you have domains in your account already, you would just select it right there, and you never wanna forget to hit save, um, because yeah, we wanna save first up. So once you have that saved, it's pretty much live. Like that's 
as easy as it could be. You could end this video right here, right now and be like, hey, I've got a funnel live on my domain. Go smarterflows.com slash landing page. Boom. You've got a professionally designed funnel with professional branding. And yeah, it, it works. It doesn't work quite yet. These, these buttons aren't quite working yet. We do have to put in some data right here. Um, but we do have multiple steps within this funnel, as you can see right here, and it's connected to a domain. If you do not have a domain connected yet, then I would go into settings and I would go down to domains. And this is where you could connect your domain. So you would hit connect your domain. You would type in your domain. I do have my Cloudflare open right here. This is just a dummy domain uh, from whenever. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and type in that domain. If you don't want to connect your root domain because another site or whatever is live on it, then you can just uh, type in a subdomain kind of like this one, sub subscribe dot go smarter website dot com and we could hit continue here and we can add it manually but sometimes Cloudflare, GoDaddy, the big providers actually automatically add your records. Unfortunately, it didn't do it just now. Uh, so we are going to have to add it manually and we're just going to create a C name. We're going to do the host as subscribe. So let's go into the DNS settings here within your Cloudflare, GoDaddy, whatever account. And you're looking for the add a record button right here. So we'll select C name. We'll put in that subscribe and then we can go back into high level and copy this required value, paste it in here. We'll turn this proxy status off, leave the time to load on auto, and we'll go ahead and hit save. And so sometimes these DNS settings, they do take a minute, two minutes, five minutes to propagate and to basically sync up. So I'll hit verified records right here, right now, and we'll give it a solid minute to load. Um, but I can't promise that it'll actually do it during this video and I don't wanna you know, spend too much time on it. So we'll give it a try. And I guess this is the perfect time for a little ad. So if you need any help within high level, uh, you need a community where you can ask regular questions, you need experts that you can just reach out to and book one on one calls with, uh, then check out the da links down below. And myself and my team were happy to help you build within high level. So back to the account, you can see it didn't propagate fast enough. But that's pretty much the process. And you would just hit verify records again, and let it load until it does actually propagate. Once you have that done, your con domain is connected and you can connect each and every step pretty much with whatever kind of link or URL you want. And um, I would I would keep the URLs here as short and as simple as possible. So if this is a landing page right here for a call, I would go to that step URL and I would change it to slash call. That way, if you're on the phone with somebody, if you're texting with somebody, it's very easy to send them the URL. Um, in the correct way instead of making it long and complicated. And you can see gosmarterflows.com slash call is pretty nice and short. So let's see where we're at. We've got seven more minutes left. Let's focus on the landing page or the funnel builder for the next seven minutes. So let's go into the my funnel template here again. I accidentally clicked out. And when I edit these uh, funnel templates, I always edit them in a new tab. It's always smart to have two, three tabs open within high level, just because it makes your life a lot easier. And I did want to mention, we'll see how long we can spend on this, but I did create a special AI character that can help us create copy for funnels. And I did want to demonstrate this as well, because once you have the funnel, you need copy, you need words to put on the funnel. And with AI, that process can be super fast and easy. So let's go into the funnel builder. And we've got these different boxes here. We've got this navigation menu. We've got this headline. We've got this, uh, if we scroll here, a first column, we've got a second column. So all of this is boxes and boxes. And if you want to add a calendar, you go to the calendar section, you build it, and then you add it to this section here. If you want to add a form, you go to the form builder, you build it, and you add it as an element here. And so, just get used to that thinking within high level of boxes within boxes. So let's say this website is just as we want it, but we don't need this, uh, this, this heading section or whatever, we could delete it, we could change it, um, we could duplicate it. So let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this section right here by hitting that duplicate button. And now we've got this entire section. Now we could re we could move this entire section right here up or down with this button right here. 
So let's go ahead and move it down. And now you can see we've got this section right here and we've got it again right here. So get used to duplicating things and dragging and dropping things. So for example, if I wanted this image right here on the left, we could drag and drop it over here. I could then select this image right here and drag and drop it, you know, further up, further down, back over to this box. So it's actually once you know how to duplicate things, you know how to drag and drop things within high levels funnel builder. It's actually very easy to build awesome funnels within very short period of time. So let's go down here and let's go to this section and focus on this section here for a second. Let's duplicate this section and let's say we actually want to have a calendar right here. We could then delete this entire blue section right here. Let's go ahead and delete it. Let's add an element right here. Let's just create another one column row. Uh, it seems like this is another one column row as, as well right here. And these elements are where you pretty much pull something from what high levels form builder over here or high levels chat widget over here or high levels survey builder or high levels um, calendar section from over here into your actual funnel. So those are those elements. And yes, you can add headlines, subheadlines, all that good stuff as well. So let's go ahead and pull in a calendar. Let's select that. Let's select a calendar like the free 15 minute call with me right here. And uh, boom, we've got a calendar installed on the funnel builder. We can then also go ahead and select all of this text Go ahead and let's let's uh, center it so that it uh, suits the calendar a little bit better. And then we can change the bat padding up here on the top and the bottom to make that the difference between here. You can see you could add some padding and make it bigger, push it down, or you can remove the padding and make them closer. And when you're building in high level, you most of the time, depending on your business and where your traffic, your leads come from, you actually want to start building in the mobile view because it'll look very different as you can see here on a mobile phone versus on a actual desktop. So definitely nowadays it is smart to build mobile first and then optimize for desktop later. But let's go ahead and hit save here. Let's update the SEO data. And once it's saved here, it's saved within high level, but it's not published yet on the actual URL. So if you want to actually make the changes published here on the URL live, then you would hit publish. And that's why they have those two different buttons. So let's go back to our calendar section. Where was it? And yeah, that's that. Like now we have this calendar live right here. Let's go ahead and click on this link to see what this looks like live. The calendar, I, I don't know. You know, this is definitely not a real, real calendar, but we've got some text. We've got a calendar. And now the main thing, what it's about is optimizing the text on the website. So let's jump into chat GPT and let me show you how easy and fast it can be to optimize the text, the copywriting on a funnel page. So I created this AI expert persona right here. Let me hit edit and let's copy all of this text. Let's go into a new chat GPT. And what you can do is you can either manually copy this text right here or within my free community with the link down below, I'll make it accessible where you can just go to an easy Google Doc and you can just copy and paste this text right here exactly like this into your chat GPT and just have easy access to this AI expert persona. But basically, I created a prompt for Funnel AI, a world-class expert in designing high converting sales funnel and writing compelling copy for each stage of the funnel. And all we need to do now is we need to feed this uh, AI expert persona with some data. and so I went ahead and I told this AI expert persona, let's go ahead and put this in, create an example data as input based on this business's website and do your job as funnel AI. So I'll go ahead and I'll search for HVAC business, HVAC business, Charlotte NC, and we'll just pull up the first one that we find. Let's take this horn website right here and we'll literally just copy, hit control A on this website copy all of this data right here and we'll put it into brackets right here. So once we paste that in, we've only got 30 seconds left. Once we paste this in, you can see that funnel AI will do its job and it'll basically create a target audience around the business's data that we just put in. And it was telling us, hey, Horn, Horn's HVAC business right here 
Their target audience is homeowners in the greater Charlotte area. Their challenges of this target audience are ensuring their homes are comfortable year round, avoiding unexpected HVAC issues. And it's basically creating the input that we need for this AI expert persona. So if you wanna just put in your own data and, oh, there's our timer. I gotta stop the alarm. Um, so yeah, we'll go another minute, but pretty much if you just want to put in your own business's data, then you can put that into this uh, AI expert persona and you don't need to, um, you don't need to put in somebody else's, uh, business data. So if you know your target audience, you can put it in there, your offer, you can put it in there, your funnel goals. You can just fill in these blanks here within this prompt and then I'll do it for you. But if you're lazy like me, and you want to leverage AI to fill in the data, then you do that. And there we go. Funnel AI is telling us, hey, your landing page should be a lead magnet. You should have one there. The objection should be to capture leads. You should have this headline, get free HVAC diagnostics from uh, Charlotte's best HVAC business. And so now we can take this copy and we can just paste it in here. And now, you know, we can make it bold, we can make it italic, we can change the size, we can make it red, we could make it black. We can do all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, the idea, the general idea that I wanna share here is leverage AI for the words, for the copywriting, for fast ideas, for split testing, and then place it on high levels funnel builder, uh, fast and easy, and just go, 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 do, 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 because the first time I built a funnel, I needed weeks to build it and I was very afraid of it. But the main purpose of this video right here right now is to take your fear away from funnel building and to show you if you leverage the right tools at the right times, it's actually very easy to build a funnel and to split test a funnel and to make it a powerful funnel, a high converting funnel. So try out funnel AI for yourself. You can see it's telling us step by step the different funnel stages like we need a sales page. We need an upsell thank you page. It's telling us exactly the headlines, the body text, all that good stuff that we need. It's suggesting to create an email sequence. And yes, you can build an email sequence in high level. You can create the copy of that email sequence within uh, ChatGPT. So leverage this amazing power that we have at our fingertips and build. And I'd like to finish this video on the thought that once you have a certain stage within your funnel, it is important to do split tests. So you wanna create split tests with this feature right here. You wanna create variations, duplicate the current funnel step, use existing ones, start from blank, but create split tests where you're A-B testing, sending 50% of traffic to the right, 50% of traffic to the left, and then after that you'll receive data and you'll be like, hey, if I just change this one headline right here, the convergence increased by 20%, and those conversions will pull through the entire funnel. So a simple headline switch, a simple structural switch within your funnel and dragging and dropping things up or down can actually increase your conversion rates by 10, 15, 20, 50%, and that will pull through the entire funnel, meaning that if you increase it at the front end by 15%, you increase your sales on the back end by 15% as well. So extremely powerful. I went over time a little bit, the timer dinged already, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Uh, if you want to speak with myself and my team, uh, go ahead and click on one of the links down below as well. I do have uh, my own version of High Level, as you can see here, with uh, add-ons like uh, a 24-7 chat widget where you can reach out to a chat team, onboarding tutorials, uh, you can even book unlimited 15 minute support calls with this team as well. So if you're just a small business leveraging high level for yourself, uh, we'd be happy to help you leverage high level through us, give you all these add-ons for the same $97 a month that you're already paying high level anyways, and give you access to my courses, my community, my team. So uh, if you're new to high level, you can also sign up with my affiliate link down below. But um, yeah, I really appreciate you watching this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.